create a 1.5 centimeter longitudinal incision over the clavicle. Drill the guide pin through the clavicle and coracoid. Slowly drill a 4.5 millimeter toggle lock reamer over the guide pin through the clavicle and coracoid. Place the guide pin through a small split in the deltoid fascia anterior to the clavicle. Hand ream a 6.0 millimeter acorn reamer down on top of the coracoid to make a bleeding bed for the graft. Insert the toggle lock implant from the top by using the toggle lock pusher. Push the implant down through the clavicle and coracoid. Deploy the toggle lock implant on the under surface of the coracoid. Place the prepared graft in the first zip loop of the double zip loop construct. Pull this zip strand to fixate the graft into the 6.0 millimeter hole on top of the coracoid. Drill two 4.5 millimeter holes in the clavicle. Size the holes for the ends of the graft. Place the second zip loop into the slots of the flat button. Pull lightly on the blue tensioning strand while pulling the zip strand. Tie the strands of the graft with a number 2 max braid over the top of the button after tensioning is complete. Cut the zip strand sutures with a max cutter and remove the blue back tensioning strand.